Friends, hello. I remember the day of 9-11 well. In 2001, I was trading bonds and stocks. I came to the office that day to trade and watch the TV in the lobby, showing airplanes heading towards the Twin Towers, then the explosions. This terrorism nightmare enveloped the entire world. What happened is definitely a tragedy. The biggest terrorist attack on America. But not just America, the whole world, including the financial world. In one of the towers was the office of the New York Stock Exchange. Trading was halted for days. The office was destroyed. Servers were destroyed. Also in the towers were several Wall Street investment firms that were significantly affected. I remember how it affected even the Russian market on that Monday. There was a significant drop in the indices of almost all stocks. A significant gap was formed. And in this video I want to share information about possible probability estimation of our option strategies. How to estimate the probability of a particular price movement. Of course, there are some events such as September 11 attack that are impossible to predict or anticipate. These events are called black swans. How is that even possible? To predict the death of 3000 people. These black swans sometimes happen in the financial market. But now I will tell you how you can try to estimate the probability of price movements. I'm creating a new option chart window. I suggest we work with popular strategy, selling strangle. I take a series at the end of this month. I buy put options at 24,000 and sell call options at 27,500. Done. The end result is a regular sold strangle. This is a popular strategy to capitalize on the time decay of sold out of the money options. How can we estimate the probability that the price will stay in a given range, under the cap of our strangle? I have sold a thousand contracts, hence the risk is one bitcoin. If the price falls, we get to buy one bitcoin. If the price rises above 27,500, break-even point is 27,800, we get a short of one bitcoin. Let's click on the GM button to find out the margin requirements. 3600 is the requirement for this strategy. The potential profit is $325. And now let's see what is the probability that the price will stay in the given range. For this purpose, there is a parameter called SCIV. To put it simply, this is the expected volatility. Let's assume that we expect the volatility to be 25. To update the chart, we need to change the price a little bit in this window. We've got the graph of the probability of normal distribution of the price. Notice the box on the left. Whenever you move the mouse over the chart, you can track the probability of occurrence of a certain event. I move the cursor over the graph at the price of 24,000. The exit price line tells us that the price will reach 24,000 with a probability of 11.96%, that is 12%. The break-even point is at 23,657. And we see that the probability that our strategy will show a loss when the price falls is 7%. Now let's look at the probability of a rise in a price at which the strangle will start to show a loss. 7.43%, slightly less than a fall. But I'll remind you that this data is correct at a volatility of 25%. If we raise the volatility level, change it to 35, the chart changes too. Now the dome has gotten wider. Why the dome got wider is because the sigma increased. This line marks the confidence range. The vertical line measures 0.5 sigma of the confidence range. The horizontal lines mark 1 sigma plus 0.5 sigma plus 1 plus 1 and a half sigma and there minus 0 0.5 sigma minus 1 sigma minus 1 and a half sigma minus 2 sigma. We remember that according to probability theory, the confidence potential between sigma minus 1 and sigma plus 1 is 67%. Price range can always be seen in this window. 
the two sigma confidence interval is 95 percent and in this chart the probability that the price will reach the break-even point on the fall is 15 percent two times more than last time and when the price goes up it's also 15 percent the bottom line is 15 percent that the price movement will bring us a loss between the two probabilities you must always choose the one that is greater let me remind you that was a volatility of 35 but now options are trading at volatility 31 to 32. you can apply this tool to any of your option strategies let's pretend the options are priced fairly i change the data from 35 to 30. the market is not very volatile right now so i change the price by one pip to update the chart faster but it does it automatically when the new last price comes in so the probability of loss when the price falls is 1.5 percent the probability of a loss when the price rises is 12 percent you should always choose the higher probability 12 percent 100 percent minus 12 percent equals 88 percent therefore 88 percent that we will make a profit with this strategy and now you can do the math expectation calculations how do you do that you multiply the potential profit of the strategy by the probability and you get the expectation of profit and the loss for this let's look at another strategy let's have a vertical spread just a reminder the ae exchange has a very handy vertical option calculator you can put them as you like and place the strikes there as you like i'm taking put options at strike 25 and 24500 I'm going to sell this spread minus 1000 of strike 25 and plus 1000 of strike 24500. We end up with the calendar diagonal spread. And now let's estimate the probability. Let's pretend that we are assuming that volatility realizes at 25. This is the probability chart. Now I'll make it larger so you can see it better. The break-even point is at 25,300, and the probability 41% that this strategy will make a profit. The idea behind this strategy is that Bitcoin will not fall, and if it does, we will lock in a loss. But the good thing is that it is limited. How to calculate the mathematical expectation in this strategy? We need to take different potential profits. The first point is $100 profit then 200 250 and the maximum is 270. then we need to take the loss points 200 dollars and the maximum loss is 240 dollars then you multiply those numbers by the probability of the event and you'll end up with a calculation of the mathematical expectation i also want to demonstrate this functionality in the web terminal to do this we open the volatility chart we choose a monthly series as an example and then on any chart we can set the volatility level for example 30. we check the box to display the data and after creating our curve we can see the confidence range one sigma we can select two sigma the graph shows normal distribution and log normal distribution i think this is a very useful function if you have any question about the tool ask them in the comments if you found this video useful give it a like subscribe to the channel i wish you all the best and successful options trading